Welcome back to Sada Sada Art Nation. This is Frank and we're going to talk about the mindset. So let's get to this. All right, so let's talk about mindset. You're going to be seeing this uh, footage of me drawing Krang. What a perfect video to uh, to watch and talk about the mindset then on Giant Brain. This was a sketch card commission that I did. It's already been sold and I am grateful for that. Uh, but let's get to it. So I say make comics, not excuses, and you can apply that to, to anything. It doesn't have to be comics uh, specifically. Uh, and, you know, that's that's my mindset is like no excuses. Now, uh, I do want to clarify that legitimate reasons are not excuses. If you're struggling with mental health, uh, you know, take care of that. Uh, but don't let that uh, dictate your life. I mean, if you need to take care of yourself, then take care of yourself. Put the comic aside. If your kids, you know, are are sick, they need to be take care, taken care of. Take care of them. Put the comic aside. Uh, I'm making some broad uh, examples. You take it however you want. Uh, but a uh, part of a uh, make comics not excuses and the reason I uh, I say it is because I, I apply it to myself. I would make excuses galore, and it took a lot uh, of you know overcoming, going back to making excuses, you know putting things away. It it, it took a long time to get to where I am, and I don't think I've arrived. Uh, I've just made some breakthroughs here and there. Uh, uh, but yeah, the reason I, I, I do that, the reason I say that is because I've lived it. I've gone through it. And there's times where like, I don't want to work on my comic because there's other things I need to take care of. Or sometimes it's just, uh, you know, uh, mental health or like uh, depression kicks in or you know, the, the voices that tell me I'm not good enough, and those are the voices that I fight. Uh, sometimes it's literal uh, literal voices, not that I'm hearing voices in my head, but it's like people telling me uh, that I can't do it. <laughs> um, and that's why I said, you know, don't, no excuses. If, if, if you're letting someone uh, kind of dictate what you do, like, oh, you shouldn't do that. Uh, that that's not gonna pay the bills or like you know other things are important if you're actually doing the other things if you're actually doing important things and you're working on on comics you know because you know you love it it's your passion or you you want to tell a story uh you know, ignore those voices and keep on uh working that that's what I, i've been been doing and there are times where i've put a comic away and I've worked on something else, uh, or I've, uh, you know, hey, I need to take care of home situations. You know, I need, I need to uh, make some money, and uh, that's how I switched over for a bit. I've been doing sketch cards, but I decided to push that even more because, and I did a video uh, on this. Um, I had a job that I was going to do, and there was going to be money involved. I was gonna have money for groceries, uh, you know, for for the month. Uh, but you know that was you know I, I, it was taken out of my my hands that I wasn't gonna do that job. But I was like, hey, I, I I'm making these sketch cards. They look good. Uh, I made some Ninja Turtle sketch cards, and I started pushing them, and and I sold them. I didn't let the excuse like, oh well, like, you know, I I can't do this. Or like, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to work today. Like I I overcame that and I found a way and you know you know after after that I started getting a little bit more commissions with the sketch cards. Then I kinda switched back to comics and some other things. Uh just finished uh bugging out uh, mini issue three. That took me a while. Uh, but it was a lot of overcoming things, and lot, some of it was just self-doubt. But, uh, but that's the mindset that I developed, and it took a while to develop it. 
Now what, what what I sometimes see, and it's a, it's a pet peeve of mine, uh, so this is not directed to anyone specifically, but sometimes uh, what I see, and it's it's really a big part of make comics not excuses, is that if you're talking about that you want to, you want to do this, I want to make a comic, I want to write a story, uh, I want to do something great, I want to get this job or that job, I, whatever it is, but you never actually attempt anything or you give yourself reasons why you can't do it or why you can't do it at the moment. And sometimes they are legitimate reasons. Uh, it's like, I want to make a comic, but, well, my art's not good enough or my writing's not good enough. Or this, or that, or whatever. Then, then is it really something you want to do? If it's something you just want to do for fun, then do it on your own time. Like do it whenever you want. Like it, there, there's no time limit. But if you keep telling people this is what I'm going to do and you never do it, that's where I say no excuses. Either you want to do it or you don't. Either you're going to jump in, or not. And even that, I mean, there's like tricky uh, waters to cross over. Uh, and some, like I said, some, there is legitimate reasons. But uh, hey, if you want to do, that's why I, I started doing uh, mini comics. Because, oh, I don't have to do a huge project right now. I can do something small. And I, I've done uh, quite a few mini comics. <laughs> now I've jumped over to something bigger, like the ash can that I'm working on. Now I'm working on a graphic novel. So start small and go from there. Now there's a quote that says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you're right. Uh, so, and I don't want to get into like, this is not uh, just motivation. This is not just a hey, positive thinking because I can, I can think like, oh man, I'm going to become the best football player. I'm going to play for the NFL. Uh, I'm not in shape, I I don't play football, I don't really enjoy sports that much, so it's it's probably not going to happen. I can think about it, I can fantasize about it, but it's probably not going to happen. So you're going to have to figure out what it is that you can do and uh, just, you know, focus on, on, on that. Uh, but also, if it's just excuses, if it's just like, well, uh, what if people don't like it? Like, listen, I made this comic. This was my first comic uh, complete from beginning to end, and I've actually put it out. Uh, this is the one that uh, I made, and I gave it up. Uh, you can actually get a PDF version of this. Uh, if you donate any amount on my coffee account, uh, so you you get a, a bunch of uh, PDF comics. Is it the best art? Is it the best comic ever? No, probably not. It's nice. It's fun. You know, it, it's funny. It has a little punchline. It's basic. It's simple. Uh, eight pages. Something I did at home. So you know, like start small. And, you know, don't worry about making a big, giant story. Now, if you do, and, and you're actually working on it, that's not a story. Uh, but listen, from, from this in 2019 to something like this, uh, 2022 is when I completed this and put it out there. Uh, if If I had given up, if I hadn't even... Uh, start anything I wouldn't have this I wouldn't have uh, this size of a comic uh, it wouldn't be 18 pages because just to do eight pages was kind of daunting for me but I did it I tell people this took me a couple of months to to make and you know right away why did it take so long well uh, because there was a lot of trial and error, and also it was just uh, 
getting myself out of that funk, getting myself out of that mentality that I couldn't do it. Uh, but once I start started it, I did everything I could, and I I didn't even I don't I at this this time I didn't have a printer. I went to the library. I walked to the library and made copies, paid for the copies. Some didn't come out that great. Some came out too small. Some came out cut off. Paid again. Resized it. Got it how I wanted it. Uh, was able to borrow a printer. And uh, it was low on, on toner. But this is what came out. Once I had my own printer. And that took a while. I set a goal to, to buy that printer. Once I had my own printer, I could reprint it. At that time... I was already making other comics. Uh, it started from something small, something a little bit bigger, or just something a, a little bit more, more detailed, or just whatever. Like you know, I, I just I worked with what I had, and I went from there. Uh, I had doubts. Uh, I had like, oh, what if people don't like this? Uh, and then I had people telling me, you, uh, hey, that's a nice hobby, but you need to focus on something else. Like. Uh, I had to push that aside and you know work with what I have and and push forward and you know I went from there and but I did it uh so yeah that's that's you know that that quote you know whether you think you can or you think you can't either way you're right it if you're not even willing to even try then no, you're not, you're not going to succeed in whatever it is. But if, if you do try and go over those hurdles, there's a big chance you might. And there's a chance you might not. But at least you know, and at least you have tried. Uh, I, I've, no, I've met some people, or just like online, or uh, or. You know that oh I want to do this story. And you're like oh, okay cool like tell me about your story or like, well I haven't started yet. Uh, you know. <laughs> or like or they're encouraging other also it depends who you're getting advice from. Uh, I actually put things out. Uh, it is from home. It is from a little printer, my laptop. Uh, it's self-published. But I'm putting things out. I'm I'm doing the work, and I'm putting it out there. Uh, if someone who hasn't even done that much, someone's not not walking the walk, but they're talking the talk, and they're giving you advice, uh, probably not listen to them. Uh, listen to someone who is actually doing it. If you want to lose weight. Don't come to me, because uh, I, I'm not in perfect shape. I'm not. In, uh, I'm working on my health, but like, you know, like, I still eat whatever I want. <laughs> so don't, don't come to me. Go to someone who's who works out. Go to someone who's actually doing it. So, <laughs> and I like food too much now. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, if if you want to know more, like if you want me to continue uh, this video and to make a part two, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to do a video talking about goals and it's going to carry over because uh, mindset is part of it, but it's the next part actually uh, doing it and, and those steps to... Uh, to, to get it done, to set your goal and actually working on your goal. So this, there is going to be another part, uh, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, is any of this helping you? And also, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert comic maker, but I am someone who's doing it. So, uh, you know what? Take it with a grain of salt, chew the meat, spit out the bones. Until next time, this has been Frank Salazar. Stay creative, make comics, not excuses.